So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to talk about the area between curves. So we'll start by drawing a picture of just about the simplest example. So let's say we have a function f with a graph like that, and a function g that looks something like that. And we want to talk about the area between f and g, say, on the interval from A to B. Well, to find that area, we can find the area between F and the x-axis, which we just do by integrating, find the area between G and the x-axis, and then subtract the area under G from the area under F. And we're left with just the area between the two curves. So that means that the area between F and G is the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. So let's look at an example of this type. So let's find the area between say f of x equals x and f of x, and oop, not f of x this time, g of x equals x squared on the interval from 0 to 1. So first thing we should do is graph this. And let's graph f of x in blue and g of x in red. So g of x is x squared. On 0, 1, we know that g of 0 is 0 and g of 1 is 1, so it's gonna, g is going to intersect, uh, the graph of g is going to intersect the graph of f at 0 and 1. And between those two values, it's going to be smaller. So it's going to look something like this. So f is the function that's above g. So here we have 1. So we're going to set up our integral as the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x minus g of x, so x minus x squared dx. And when we evaluate this, we get 1 half x squared minus 1 third x cubed evaluated between 0 and 1. Well, we don't have to worry about plugging in 0 because that makes both terms 0. When we plug in 1, we get 1 half minus one-third, which is one-sixth. So the area between f and g is one-sixth. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. So here we'll find the area, in fact, between the same two curves. So find the area between f of x equals x and g of x equals x squared. But now we'll, we'll do this on the interval from 0 to 2. And so remember when we started the video, I talked about illustrating the simplest case. And that was the kind of thing we saw in the first example where one function is always above the other function. But what do we have here now? So now we have f of x equals x. Oh, that's not quite 45 degrees, but that's all right. And let's say this is, uh, let's say this is 2. But now g of x is going to intersect f here. Let's say, let's say that's 1. It's going to go up like this, and then it's going to be above f. So this is g and this is f. So, more complicated example because on part of this interval, f is above g. On the other part, g is above f. So we're going to have to write this area as a sum of two integrals. So we're going to get the integral from 0 to 1 of f minus g. So x minus x squared dx. And we already know what this is. We, we did the work in the previous example. 
But to this integral, we need to add the integral from 1 to 2. And on this integral, sorry, on this interval, x squared is bigger than x. So we're going to subtract x from x squared in dx. Okay. So what is this equal? Well, the first uh, integral is 1 sixth. We already know that. Plus this one. And so this is plus 1 third x cubed minus 1 half x squared evaluated between 1 and 2. And when we evaluate this, we get 1 sixth plus, uh, we plug in 2, we get 8 thirds minus 4 halves. So this simplifies to 4 sixths plus 1 sixth. When we plug in 1, we get 1 third minus 1 half. And this gives us, oh, not 7, sorry. This simplifies to 1. So when we split this into two intervals, two integrals, we have this area plus this area. And in this case, all the area, the area between these two curves is always considered positive. So we don't have negative area above the x-axis. So that's how you find the area between curves.